Edison's eyes widened as his friend pulled the money from his pocket. He saw a $20 bill, three $10 bills, and a bunch of smaller notes. His friend Antonio had 100 Trinidad and Tobago dollars, or about US 15. I sold this, Antonio said with a big smile. I want to buy something. The two 15-year-old boys were walking across the street from the public school in Bonaire, a town in Trinidad and Tobago. Antonio hungrily eyed food stalls selling fried chicken, fried fish, fried pies alongside the road. He stopped and handed $20 to Edison. What do you want to buy? He said. Edison was hungry, and he took the money. None of the street food, however, looked appetizing. I don't want to buy anything here, he said. I'll buy something to eat near my home. The next day, teacher called Edison into his office. I was just talking to with Antonio about someone stealing $100 from a girl's purse yesterday, he said. Antonio said that you stole the money. Is that true? Edison felt very sad. He told teacher about his conversation with Antonio and how he had accepted $20. Teacher was glad that Edison hadn't stolen the money. But you still did the wrong thing by accepting the stolen money, he said. The next day, Edison found himself back in the teacher's office, also in the room was the, the school principal, his mother, Antonio, and Antonio's mother. You are a good child, the principal said to Edison. How did this happen? I'm sorry, Edison said sadly. It will never happen again. The principal announced that Edison would be suspended from school for seven days as punishment for accepting stolen money. Antonio was suspended for one whole month for stealing the money. Both boys were required to make a restitution to the girl by giving back twice the amount of money that he they had stolen. Edison borrowed $40 from his mother to give to the girl. That, that evening, Edison's father called when he heard about the school suspension. He and mother were divorced, and he lived in another town. You should go to church, he said. Yes, I should, Edison agreed. And he meant it. He hadn't gone to church since he was a small boy. He looked around his home for a church. It had to be within walking distance, because he didn't want to ask his mother for money to take the bus. Then he remembered that there was a Seventh-day Adventist church only 15 minute walk away he went the next sabbath and found everyone to be friendly and welcoming he went again the next sabbath and the next three years passed and the big evangelistic meetings were organized at the church edison invited his family to go with him and they did at the end of the meetings, Edison was baptized together with his mother, grandmother, and 12-year-old brother, 9-year-old sister, and 11-year-old cousin. I am happy, Edison said. Now we celebrate Sabbath together and we have the same love for God. Today, Edison attends an Adventist high school, Caribbean Union College Secondary School on the campus of University of the Southern Caribbean. He's a real missionary for bringing his family to Jesus. University of the Southern Caribbean wants to train more missionaries, and part of this quarter's 13th Sabbath offering will help open a missionary training center on the university's campus. Thank you for watching.